growing up, there were seven of us kids. Um, four of us were to my bi biological dad and the other three were to my stepdad. When we met our stepdad, we thought um, he was just the nicest guy and um, I never saw a bad side to him. Um, but I think as growing up and just becoming more aware, um, that's when we started to realise uh, just more abuse, um, the things that he was doing to our mum, um, and even got to the point where it would start, the abuse would start with us um, children. It wasn't just sort of the whack for being naughty, it was, uh, I suppose, more violent, just um, leaving marks sort of abuse. I would have been about 12 when the um, sexual abuse started to happen. This guy I loved, this, this dad that I had um, been wanting ever since I was a young girl, um, he was doing something that I was just wasn't really sure of. Like, I knew it was wrong and I was, I was scared, but I just, um, yeah, I didn't understand what, why he was doing what he was doing. I kept that a, a secret for a long time. Um, for me, it was about keeping our family together. Um, I didn't want my mum to have no one. I didn't want us not to have a dad. I was on my last year of college and um, I just remember one night my older sister had rung me and she was living over in Australia. I just said to her that he had hurt me and that I hated him and um, she went really quiet on the phone and I just remember her saying that um, he hurt me too and my other sister, she um, yeah, said that he had sexually abused her too and um, it pretty much just spiralled out of control from there. I just, the next thing I, I knew, I had um, my mum in tears on the phone. I'd say it would have been about a year. It took about a year to actually go through the court. And then we got a phone call from our lawyer saying that um, he had gotten two and a half years for what he had did to us girls. It's so common these days, and um, especially in families. Uh, there's a lot of people who have gone through this, and um, I would say speak up. You know, let someone know what has happened. Get some justice for what had happened. But I also really believe in forgiveness. And for me, I can truly say that I forgive my stepdad for what he done. Um, and in a way, it's not just about forgiving that person for them, but it's about setting yourself free and being able to um, continue to live your life without feeling like you're still in that place where you have to be quiet and, and no one know what happened to you. Yeah. <laughs>